Hey, hey, Facebook, happy Monday to you. Hope we had a wonderful weekend. Ours is a little chilly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was a little chilly. We were without a furnace all weekend. Um, my buddy came home this morning and uh, called me up this morning and said, hey, I'll be over there this afternoon to take care of it. So he came by, messed with some wires, and uh, hear that? You hear that? Wait for it. I'm gonna take off this. I'll be all right taking this off. I'm gonna take this off. Wait for it. Look. Yeah. We have flameage. We have it working. He uh, basically, I had a few wires mixed up, and that's all it was. It was just a few wires. So we got it back up and running. We're we're gonna be warm again. I, I added it all up. I spent about three hundred and forty dollars on parts. Um, and it was just me mixing up wires. <laughs> that was 90% of the problem with just me mixing up wires. Hey, Hendrick, say hi. It's my littlest guy right there. He's here helping me, Dad. So my buddy got it fixed and up and running. But I got to see service firsthand in a different light. You know, we, we go into homes and we do things different. It's always fun to see other companies, how they, they handle the service project. Now, obviously, um, he's my buddy, so it's a little different. But uh, it was it was fun to see him come over and come down and take a look at it, do his his little thing. I sat here and watched him, and I like did I screw it all up? And he's like, no. When you're doing a, a complete mix up, boy, you really want to be on camera, don't you? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> yeah. He sees himself. He thinks that's funny. He is funny. But uh, it's nice to be able to see the service firsthand and see how we, as a plumbing service, um, differ. Sorry, I'm trying to put my furnace back together here um, we as a plumbing service differ from others and um, you know he, he doesn't do plumbing as much he does mostly just HVAC he's been doing it for many years and so that's why we recommend people to him for HVAC stuff and we have a good little gig going sorry it got dark there we have a good little gig going he, he uh, refers people to us for plumbing and we refer people to him for HVAC and we work together that way and he does a good job he cleans up you know after himself and that's all you can ask for when you're doing um, service work like that. Somebody that comes in, they're clean, they're respectful, they take care of it. We, we joked about how stupid I was with HVAC and how I shouldn't be, uh, do, shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff. I'm going to go stay out here because it's got a little bit more light. Anyways, you know, um, something I, I've found is that I'm not good at everything. And at some point, I know when to, to call it quits. And on this situation, I, I knew when to call it quits. But we, we've experienced it firsthand. We know what it's like to have good service. We know what it's like to, to not have something working and have that pressure of getting it working. So that's why we are the way we are. We try really hard to be what you need us to be as far as service people. We come to your home. We're clean. We're respectful. We do a job. We give options. We educate you about what's going on with your home. We help you try to get it fixed and then some. We try to actually get it replaced. Um, funny story, we had a customer on Friday who called us and, shh, Hendrick, who called us and uh, they, they were having problems with their, their water heater. And Tanner went over, he looked at it, and he's like, you know, we can get it fixed today for this much. Um, but, you know, I really, this is a 12-year-old water heater I really recommend just changing the whole thing out for a brand new one. Um, and these are these are the prices I'm going to give you what we can do to get it fixed and going. But I can't guarantee it's going to work for a long time because it's a 12 year old water heater. And he's like, and then this is the next best option to replace it. And then we could give you an upgrade of doing it this year. And we actually couldn't put a, a tankless into that house. It was a little different situation. It was in the middle of the home and we couldn't vent it. Um, so what we did is we gave them an upgraded water heater with an extra warranty on it for their upgrade and they decided to take the lowest option and Friday night at like 10 o'clock um, I got a text from this individual we go to we, we, we know each other his wife and my wife are friends I get a text from him on my personal phone saying hey are you guys open and I wrote back and said sorry you know we're not open after five o'clock and he's like well you know I had your guys come out and fixed it I made the choice and decided to not do the right option. I went with the lowest option. And he was having issues almost immediately afterwards, even though, hey, Danny, thanks for watching, buddy. Um, even though we had, we'd given him the options, he chose the, the one to just fix it and move on. 
even though we were warning him it was a 12-year-old water heater, it was, it was needing time to be replaced. Um, today we went back this morning, first thing, and we told him, look, you know, we could drain this whole thing down and replace the gas valve and it'll get you going, but you only got probably another three or four years worth of life on this water heater at the most. At the most, it's 12 years old. And you don't have a water softener system, this, this water heater is ready to be replaced. You know, and we worked out some numbers and we helped him out and we were able to get him into a brand new water heater today. So it just goes to show that when we come into it, you know, we've got the expertise to, to tell you, you know, this needs to be replaced or yeah, we can fix it. And but in most situations, we're going to recommend what's going to be the best for you in the long run and the best for your money. Now, we understand that not everybody's budget can match that. And that's why we give you the options. But in this situation, the, the individual chose the lowest option. And then when we went back today, he chose the middle option um, to, to get it sw switched out and taken care of. He didn't choose the upgrade, um, an extra warranty, you know, on his water heater. But he did choose to get that water heater replaced. He's seen how, how significant it was, and he understood it. Now, obviously, we worked with him because we were just there Friday. Um, and we took off Friday's work and put it, applied it to ORS today's water heater, trying to help him out financially. But that's what we're there for, is to give you education, to teach you what you need to know, and then to give you the best recommendation that, that we can give you and let you make the choice on what you want to do. And in his situation, like I said, it didn't work. But in most situations, we can get you running for at least several months, maybe a year, um, on the repair. Now, we always recommend doing more. Um, we're going to try to save you money as much as possible and save us from having to never come back. That's, that's kind of the key is we're trying to help you out. So keep that in mind. Have a wonderful Monday. We'll catch you tomorrow.